Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. And again, it does not matter what sport you are betting on, we have you covered here. Before we get into some NBA predictions for March the 14th, I want to remind you to join so you have access to the Z Code VIP Club section right here. And you can see it has all these wonderful tools to help you make your picks more successfully. So let's get started here as we have uh, passed the all-star break of the NBA season, and we're going to take a look at the matchups for March the 14th. Scroll down here. Uh, we're not going to go over every game. We're going to go over some of them, Memphis and Oklahoma City, Utah Jazz and Golden State. Here's one we want to look at. The Jazz head to Golden State with the top record in the NBA, while the Warriors are 10th in the Western Conference. Both teams aren't playing to their best lately. As you can see, they're both averaged down at the moment. The Jazz have lost three out of their last four, and the Warriors have lost their last three. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that the Jazz won the previous meeting by a 127-108 score back on January 23rd as a home favorite. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Jazz are clearly ahead, being the top team in the NBA. That's not a surprise. They were at plus 27. And Golden State has been steady over the last couple of days, and they're at plus 16. If you're considering the over and under in this game, you can see that the Jazz have been playing in games trending over the line, and Golden State playing in games trending well under the line. In this case, I would avoid the over under because they are on opposite sides of the line. If you want to take a look at how stable the two teams have been, like how consistently have they been performing according to their favorite and underdog status, we take a look at the volatility oscillator. And here you can see that both teams have been very stable, very consistent, plus 12 for Utah, plus 11 for Golden State. Golden State is at home, but Utah should be a slight road fair. Now you see the odds for the game are not up yet. You're better off checking here probably Friday night or Saturday for those odds. But for now, I'm thinking... Uh, the margin will not be as big this time, but Utah will leave the game with a road win. The San Antonio Spurs and the Philadelphia 76ers. The Spurs enter with the seventh seed in the Western Conference, and the 76ers are holding on to a slim lead as top seed in the Eastern Conference. 76ers are burning hot at the moment, winning their last two. San Antonio is ice cold down, losers of their last two and three of their last four. You look at the power ranking indicator, Philadelphia has a plus 25 to plus 17 edge over the Spurs. You can see that the Spurs have dropped from 23 to 17 over the course of the last 10 days. Head to head, the two teams have not met since uh, back in the 2019 season, so that's irrelevant at this point. If you're looking at the totals predictor, you can see that the Utah, excuse me, San Antonio is playing in games under the line. So is Philadelphia slightly under, so I would expect a more of a defensive battle and go with the under on this one. If you look at the consistency of the two teams, according to their favorite underdog stats, look at this. Philadelphia is extremely consistent at plus 12, and San Antonio not as much at plus 1, which means that you know sometimes they might win as an as a, as a, uh, underdog, an upset, but I don't think that's going to be the case this time. Philadelphia is extremely tough at home, and they will be playing in front of the fans for the first time. Philadelphia will win this game. Miami and Orlando, Cleveland and Atlanta. The Hawks come in 11th in the Eastern Conference, but they're just a game out of the last playoff spot. The Cavaliers have the third worst record in the conference. The Hawks are burning hot at the moment. Winners of their last two. Well, the Cavaliers are average. They were coming off of a four-game winning streak, but they lost their last one to Indiana. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see because of that recent hot streak, uh, with the exception of the last loss, Cleveland jumped from zero up to 12, and Atlanta is on the rise as well. They went from five up to nine. Head-to-head, -head, you can see that in the last two meetings, Cleveland has been victorious once on the road, once at home, but both as an underdog. For some reason, Cleveland seems to have Atlanta's number. If you're taking a look at the over and under, Cleveland is playing in games trending under the line. Atlanta playing in games trending slightly over the line. So that is a wash. I would not bet the over and under in this contest. If you look at the volatility oscillator, 
the consistency factor, eh, both have been pretty consistent. You see Cleveland at plus 9, and Atlanta at plus 7. So they're performing consistently according to their favorite and underdog status. Atlanta is at home. They should be the favorite, and I think this time they will take care of business, ending their losing streak against Cleveland. Boston and Houston. Portland and Minnesota. Here's the next one we want to look at, the Clippers and the Pelicans. The Clippers are currently the fourth seed in the Western Conference, and the Pelicans are on the outside looking in. Neither team is playing particularly well at the moment. You see both are ice-cold down status. The Clippers are losing three in a row and four out of their last five, and the Pelicans have lost four out of their last five as well. <clears throat> if you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you will see that they're both on a downward trend. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not surprisingly, since they have been, uh, on, since they're both ice cold down and how many games they have lost recently. Um, you see here the Clippers are at plus 18 and New Orleans is at plus 10. Considering the over and under, you notice here that the Clippers are playing in games now trending slightly under. For a while there, they were over the line, now under. And New Orleans is over the line, quite a bit over the line. So I think. Maybe you don't bet in this one, but if you are going to bet, bet the over because of the way New Orleans has been playing in games quite over the line. If you want to take a look at how consistent the two teams have been, we will look at the volatility oscillator like we always like to do. It's a very good tool. You can see the Pelicans at plus two, so take their over, excuse me, take their favorite and underdog stats with a little bit of a grain of salt, but the Clippers here at plus 10, they are very consistent as far as that category goes. So what do we expect here? Well, you notice that the Pelicans are the home team, but I actually think the Clippers will be the road favorite. And because of that, and because they are the better team, despite how they've been playing lately, the Clippers should come away with a road win. Not by as much as in their previous contest where they won by a 111-106 score. It might actually be even a little bit closer than that. So take a close look at the line on this one before placing your bet. And then we have the Raptors and the Chicago Bulls. The Raptors are ice cold down at the moment. You see losers of four out of their last five, and the Bulls are average up. Uh, coming off of a two-game losing streak with a win, and they have won four out of their last six. Both of these teams are battling for the final uh, position in the Eastern Conference playoff race. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that both teams are on the downward trend. But Toronto has a plus 11 to plus 7 advantage in that category. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, the two teams have not met since 2020 in February, so that will not really be a factor here. If you're considering the over and under, a slightly under the line for Toronto and over the line for Chicago, I would not bet the over under in this one. How consistent have the two teams been? Both moderately consistent at plus four. So, I mean, take a look at their favorite underdog stats, but remember that there are times that they're not performing consistently according to that favorite underdog status. So what do I think is going to happen in this game? Well, they haven't met yet this season, so we don't have anything to go on as far as that goes. But I'm thinking that the Bulls, playing at home, have a slight edge, and they should be a slight favorite. I think they will come away with a win in this one, perhaps even in overtime. So there you have it. Those are the games for March the 14th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.